Hi, in this MailerLite tutorial, we're going to learn how to create and send a newsletter. Let's begin. We're going to start at the MailerLite dashboard, dashboard.mailerlite.com. And if you don't have an account yet, you can sign up for free. There's three ways we can start creating our newsletter. Create, create campaign or campaigns. I'll choose create campaign. There's four types of campaigns we can create. A regular campaign, an AB split campaign, an RSS campaign, or an auto resend campaign. I'll choose the regular campaign for this tutorial. We first have to start off by filling in some basic details. The name of the campaign, the subject that our recipients will see, our own information, and a pre-header. So that's a little piece of text that people see underneath the subject in their email box. And we have to choose the recipients. I'll fill in some information now. Something that's important to mention about the subject is that you can personalize it. So if you have some data on your recipients, their name, last name, or company, for example, you can add that to the email subject. And also, of course, choose a happy smiley. When we go to recipients, we click here. I only have one active subscriber, so I will select that one. But if you have a lot of subscribers, you can also choose to filter them. Go to advanced and choose a filter. There's a lot of filters we can choose from. Let's say that we only want people in a specific location to receive our newsletter. Let's say only people in the United States of America. Choose is, and we choose the United States of America. But since I only have one subscriber, I'll go back to basic, select all active subscribers. And here we get a useful preview that we can use to check out what our email will look like in the inbox of our recipients. Finally, we can track whether people open our email or not. Let's now go to creating the content of the email itself. To create the content of our email, we have three options. We can create a completely new newsletter, choose from a template, and we can also choose between our recent emails. But since I've not sent an email yet, I'll choose to start from scratch. We can use a drag and drop editor, a rich text editor, and an HTML editor. Let's go for the drag and drop one. One of the first things you'll see is that we do get a template from MailerLite that we can customize, but we can completely delete this and start from scratch if we want to. But let us begin by taking a look at the right hand side of the screen, because this is where you will find the settings that have an impact on the entirety of the email. We can choose the layout, for example, a fill or a contained email. We can adjust the font, the background, the style of the content and the button styles. If we go to settings, we can also add some branding. If you have a logo, you can add that here and you can choose which colors you want to use in the email. Some of the blocks that we can add have some menu items. These include links to pages on, for example, your website. And of course, you can also add links to your socials. Now let's take a look at the middle and the left hand side of the screen, because this is where we can add the blocks to the email. We'll first learn how to interact with the blocks. We can move them up and down. We can edit them. And here we can edit the style of the block, the way it looks. If you have created the style that you like, you can save it as a template. We can duplicate the block. And of course we can delete it. I will now delete all of the blocks and create an email from scratch. So let's get started with a hero block. There's a lot of different blocks you can use here. I'll choose to make a simple email. I'll add some text elements. And then finally, I will add a call to action. Of course, you can further edit this all to your liking. There's a lot of options that we have here. Before you finalize your email, you need to add an unsubscribe link. You can do so by adding a footer, bottom left, and choose the footer to your liking. This will add a unsubscribe link that people can use to unsubscribe from your newsletter. Now that we're done, done editing. Now what we have to do is finalize our campaign and then finally send it. We can review the details, for example, the subject, the sender, the language, the tracking options, and the recipients. We can see a preview, and now we can choose to send it now, schedule the sending, or send it based on time zones. So that would mean that everybody in their respective time zone will receive it at a specific moment that you have chosen. Let's say at 12 a.m., for example, based on time zones, and we choose time 11 a.m. From then on, we can schedule our campaign and we can monitor our campaigns in the dashboard. Let's check that out. So here you will be able to see the send campaigns, the drafts and your outbox. 
from the draft, you can still edit your campaigns. And you can also choose to delete or duplicate them. If you click overview, you come back to the screen that we just left. That was it for the tutorial about creating newsletters in Mailer Lite. I hope you enjoyed it, and that you found it useful, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching.